Hi, I'm Austin. This is my buddy, Max. We're pizza delivery drivers. It isn't a terrible job, but due to current events, it's almost impossible to survive. Austin, 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 Austin! Hi. Here's a joke. Give a man a pizza, and he eats for a day. Teach a man how to make a pizza, and he will work for minimum wage. I have college dreams, but I can't afford them. Thanks, Idaho. Look, just help me out with one delivery, man. One delivery. Ooh, $176, dude. Huge tip, and then when you get back, you get to clock out for the day. Ah, oh, you're gonna Wait, love it. Love you, Austin. This is 45 minutes away. It also doesn't help when people don't tip appropriately. So I filled the gap. Hey, uh, what are you doing? The guy gave me a $5 tip. $5, Max. Literally nine pizzas and a 45 minute drive, and he tips me $5. We either get the big tip or left feeling completely shafted. It's done now. I'm in kind of a dark place right now. You ever feel like you have absolutely no control over your life? Well, sure, but I think most people feel like that sometimes. No, I'm not talking about sometimes. I'm talking about all the time. We should rob a bodega. So, you just want to rob some place in the middle of the day? Plenty of robberies happen during the day. Well, I don't know about you, ma'am, but I think I've had about enough excitement for one evening. Ah! Pull yourself together. We're in this now. No going back. A gun? You say anything about a gun. It's a robbery. Why wouldn't there be a gun? Alright. This is a robbery. Put your hands in the air, do what I say, and I won't shoot you! Okay, safety on kid. I don't think he's shooting anyone. Really? The safety. Well, dude, you've never held a gun before. Of course, you're gonna probably make some rookie mistake like that. If you didn't forget that, you probably forgot bullets. First time, huh? I don't know how to take that. Hey, we're clear. Uh, he's still shaking, I think. Yeah, he is. Can you stop shaking that? You realize we're robbing you, right? I knew you wanted to rob me for my hard-earned cash, but I didn't think you wanted to rob me of my gains, too. Nah, oh, man, I'm gonna just keep shaking this thing. Okay, I'm not here to play any more games. Uh, open the cash register, and we'll leave. You see, I'd love to. But the thing is, is this cash register doesn't open unless somebody's buying something. So you're gonna have to buy something. I'm here to rob you. I'm not here to buy anything. Look, kid. You think I've never been robbed before? You think nobody's come in here with a gun to my face, threatening to shoot me before? In all my years owning this place, not anyone has ever had the guts to pull the trigger. Not now, not when my dad ran the place. You shot me. You really shot me. Open the register. No, we way past that now. You think I'm gonna open the register if you shot me in my stomach? Well, dude, you make a good point. Ah! You're not helping. Well, you're the one who shot Marcus, not me. Marcus? The Bodega Man. You didn't have to name the Bodega guy from the fictional robbery. No, I didn't. But if you're gonna go into a fictional robbery with a real gun, you better be prepared to shoot somebody. And that somebody is probably gonna have a name, a life, hopes and dreams, ambitions. Sorry I took a little bit of integrity. God, this hurts. I didn't think I'd go out like this. I had hopes of being the next strong man. I had dreams of opening up a gym for underprivileged kids. I can't listen to this. No, 
Of course not. You don't want to live with the consequences of your actions. Oh my god, is he okay? Great, you shot a girl now. A girl? Typical. That is so typical! Look at this body! At these breasts! Are these the breasts of a little girl? Huh? No. These are the breasts of a woman. I earned these. I have been through the training bra teasings, the mortifying Victoria's Secret fittings, and the sheer pain and terror of repeated mammograms. Not to mention trying to get dressed for work in the mornings, wanting to wear something that I like, but keeps my colleagues looking at my face. So what else do you need to see, huh? The cellulite? The stretch marks? Or do I need to pop a baby out of my vagina before y'all respect me as a woman, huh? Oh, hey, Marcus, what's going on in here? I thought I heard, oh my god, oh! Kyle? What are you doing here? Um, uh, I work here? Uh, but you're, you're our shift leader. You, you already have a job. And I work here. Do you know why? Because I have to pay rent, okay? That's expensive. <laughs> If I couldn't pay rent, man, I have to live with my parents, and that'd be really freaking embarrassing. What? Oh! Oh! That one I meant to do. Really? I make seven twenty-five dollars an hour at both of these jobs. Both of these jobs. Oh, that doesn't look good. What do you think this is gonna cost? Huh? You think I got money for an ambulance? You think I get health care? That's pizza. Oh God! Where were we? Hmm. You just shot Becky and Kyle. Becky? The girl? Don't you dare call me a girl. Sorry? <laughs> Don't apologize, you misogynistic troglodyte. Just because you were born with something swinging between your legs doesn't mean that those of us without a penis are weak or little girls. We are women. Not diminutive, not dismissible. And we deserve to be treated equally. Wow. Do those two men need your sympathy? Yes. No! No, they don't. So I will never, ever allow myself to be pitied by a pathetic little boy who doesn't know the difference between an innocent, immature little girl and a strong, independent, successful, hardworking, Creative and beautiful woman. Is she gone? I would rather die. Huh. Good for her. If you've been paying attention, I obviously didn't rob a bodega. That's the smartest thing you've said all night. Situations never go as planned, and thankfully, Max was there to talk me off that ledge. I'll see you tomorrow. Joke. Hmm, maybe Max is a point. I went back to work to own up to my mistake. And they only tipped you five dollars? Yeah, I, I had that reaction too. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Austin. So, I got fired. What, you thought this would be a happy ending? I stole from someone! Hey, um... Kyle's just telling me what happened. At times, we might feel a little lost. Hell, we sometimes try to control impossible scenarios. However, we don't get to react inappropriately despite how tough life treats us. All in all, stealing is wrong. Don't call a woman a girl. And tip your fucking waitstaff. You're not better than them.